In this video, we are going to continue with the product rule. You will find this on page 473 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at an example. Find the X coordinates of the points on the curve, this is the function, where the gradient is zero. Now this is very important. In chapter 6 we did this. So if you struggle, if you don't know the method, it's maybe good to first go back to chapter 6 and to revise that gradient part before you start working with the product rule in this practical example. So if they ask the gradient of a curve, is asked, then it, you must always differentiate. So we're first going to follow the product rule. So I rewrite the first bracket, I differentiate the second. I rewrite the second bracket, I differentiate the first. So basically, I'm just going to, if I differentiate, this is the chain rule. So the outside, do the short way. So it's 7, I subtract 1, 6, multiply the inside and it's just 1. I rewrite, I differentiate. It's 4, subtract 1, 3, multiply, differentiate the inside 1. Okay, now I'm just ordering. It's good. Bring that 7 in front, this bracket, this bracket. Bring the 4 in front, it's always the constant in front, this bracket, this. Another thing that will also help you, try to write the brackets because it's the same bracket. So if you put the x plus 3 in front in this term, put the x plus 3 also in front in this term. Okay, because now it's easier if you have to take out a common factor. Now what will be the common factor? It's x minus 3, but what is the smallest one? The smallest one is 3. Then x minus 5, and what is the smallest one? The smallest one is 6. And then if I divide, the 7 is left, uh, this, maybe I'll just clean here, you can see. I think it's better to clean. If you see, this x plus 3 cancel out, but there's 1. Okay, where are we now? Now, the x plus 3, there's 1 left of that bracket. The x minus 5 cancel out. And if it's this divided by this, there's the 4. The x plus 3, um, x plus 3 cancel out, but the x minus 5, there's going to be 1 left. And then I simplify, I multiply, 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 add up the like terms and I form my other bracket. Because if it's in this format, it's then easy. I must find the values of x where the gradient is zero. Now this represents the gradient. So in that place, I just basically put a zero. Okay, and then I just do the following method. Just like I did with quadratic equations, this is equal to zero, or this is equal to zero, or this is equal to zero. So, if I want to get rid of the three, I can just take the cube root. But at the end, I end up with x plus three equals zero. Then, I'm just taking the six root. But at the end, x minus five is equal to zero. And then if I simplify this, I get x is minus 3, x is 5. And if I take this, negative 1, divide by 11, and that is my third answer. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do number 1, as well as number 3. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Number 1. Given the function, find dy over dx, it's nice, they tell you to differentiate, and then the value of x for which dy over dx is equal to zero. So, I'm just going to write down my function. So, dy by dx is equal, I rewrite the first bracket, I differentiate this one. So it's 3, I subtract 1, I multiply differentiating the inside. Plus, I rewrite the second bracket, I differentiate the first bracket. So first the outside, 
côté. Two x minus three. Okay, so it's I subtract one. So I multiply. Just move it a little bit. So I multiply in this case by. Okay, that's one. If I differentiate the inside, I multiply by two. Okay, I simplify now. So put that three, and then I'm putting this bracket two x minus three square, and then x plus. 5 squared plus now 2 times 2 don't forget it's 4 first this bracket 2x minus 3 and then it's just going to help you so that you don't make unnecessary mistakes okay now as soon as I did that I'm now going to take out a common factor so what will be my common factor in this case it's going to be the two brackets so it's 2x minus 3. Now, if I look at the exponents, there's a 2 and there's a 1. And I always take the smallest. And then, it's x plus 5. And there is a 2 and there's a 3. But I take, I take the smallest. So, I take the 2. Okay. And then, basically, I'm just going to... If I divide... So this, the 3 will be left, and one of these brackets, 2x minus 3. And there, the 4 will be left, okay, so this, uh, and again, this cancel, and one of these brackets, x plus 5. And if I simplify this now, it's 2x minus 3 x plus 5 squared, and this is going to be 6x minus 9 plus 4x plus 20, close the bracket. So it's going to be 2x minus 3, x plus 5 squared, this is going to become 10x, and this will be 11. Okay. But now, I differentiate. But now, I must put in the place, so I always like to write in yellow then. So when dy by dx equals 0, then I'm going to have that 2x minus something. minus 3, x plus 5 squared, 10x plus 11 equals 0. So therefore, 2x minus 3 equals 0, or x plus 5 squared equals 0, or 10x plus 11 equals 0. So if I'm going to look at this answer, I'm just going to say x is equal to 3 over 2. Or, remember I take the square root, square root, so, and then x is equal to negative 5. Or, in this case, x is equal to negative 11 over 10. So that will then be my final answers. Okay, that is where every time the gradient will be zero. Let's look at the next one. That was the first one. I'm going to make space. Okay, number three. Calculate the gradient of the curve at the point. Now I must calculate. Now the gradient is not given. I must calculate. Again, if you struggle with the basics, first go to chapter six, revise that, and then come back to this chapter. Okay, but now for first I must differentiate. So if I'm going to differentiate, what is my function? 
my function is y is equal to x squared square root x plus 4. And it's better to write it as x squared bracket x plus 4 and that will be to the power of a half. So dy by dx is equal to rewrite the first one, differentiate the second one. So if I differentiate, it's a half, it's x plus 4, and if I subtract 1, it's going to be negative a half, multiply, differentiate the inside, 1. Plus, rewrite this one. And multiply, differentiate this one. So if I simplify this, then I'm going to get x squared, or oh, my pen, x squared over 2, and put it in brackets, eh, oh, in, in a root, sorry, in a root back. I, I first bring it down, then it becomes positive, and then I put it in a root. There's the 1, there's the 2. Okay, plus, and this one will just be in the root. It will just be 2x. It's positive, so I don't have to bring down x plus 4. Now, I could have made the denominators the same if, it was, if, it, if the gradient were given to me. But in this case, it's just going to be substitution. Because we are just going to say, um, when... X is equal to negative 3. Because the point, what is the point? The point is negative 3 and 9. Now to find the gradient, we just substitute the X value in the derivative uh, function, in the differentiated function. We, we ignore the 9, we don't need that. So basically, so when, then, then, dy over dx is equal to negative 3 squared over 2, negative 3 plus 4 plus 2, negative 3, negative 3 plus 4. And that is going to be 9 over 2, A square root of 1 is just 1, okay, and just put a 1 here. Okay, it's going to become a negative, so negative 6, and it's again just going to be the square root of 1, so 1. So it's going to be, in, in this case, 9 over 2, it's going to be 4 and a half minus 6. And if I just move it up a little bit, that is going to give me negative 1 and a half. So let's just go back to the question. Calculate the gradient uh, of at the at the point. So you can end by say therefore at the point negative three nine the gradient will be negative one and a half. And that's how you do it.